Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing today, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for August today, all right? So let's take a look and see what's going to be happening for you. Your first row today, Cancer, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind right now, all right? This could be romantic or platonic, darling, it's just the person on your mind, all right? And then in your second row today, Cancer, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear right now, what you need to hear today, whether it's a spiritual message for some of you, or whether it's just some guidance or what, some general direction. Some of y'all just need some direction, right, uh, Cancer? Uh, and then in your third row today, we're going to get into some predictions for you, Cancer, all right? This is where if you continue on in the path that you have been going on and continue following with this energy's momentum, I can get a pretty good idea of what's going to be happening for you in the future, all right, darling? So, cancer when it comes to consuming my tarot readings today all right be sure to let me know in the comments below how it resonates of course all right but give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know and i appreciate those that take the extra step so let's get right into this here for you today cancer all right page of pentacles is the back of the deck energy for you all right page of pentacles this could be in two ways all right from a social aspect uh cancer if someone is building up i feel like because i'm being shown like someone's practicing in the mirror speaking all right it's like someone's like practicing a speech to say to you cancer someone's wanting to communicate with you extending out their pentacle to you cancer all right someone does have this desire of speaking out or opening up the channels of communication all right so this is very much so an energy cancer where it's like perhaps when you go to the coffee shop this week or when you're going to he well not everyone has heb y'all know i'm a texan honey if i say heb what's up but um if you're going to the grocery store cancer um i feel like people will be more prone to want to communicate with you so this is not really a time for you to be a hermit all right uh from more pro uh for more project-based career and what have you page of pentacles is like a new stream of revenue opening up or the progression of current streams of revenue all right uh cancer so really you know the page pages bring forward news bring for brings forward new energy so be expecting some type of news i, I just heard like an email notification in my head i know it's not from me because i don't have uh, notifications on um so some of you guys might be hearing like a message in the coming days all right cancer uh so let's put this here because of course this page of pentacles energy darling is going to be influencing all three rows which speaking of which darling let's get right into this here cancer okay we're going to be getting into your person the person that's on your mind right now you guys have the all swords okay darling i don't even look at these cards until we're pulling them up honestly uh cancer so we have the nine and ten of swords with the knight of swords as well now cancer i'm going to be honest to you darling anytime as a tarot reader when i see a lot of swords energy you know swords is that air energy swords is that dealing with like your mental health your psyche you know just you know what's going on in your noggin darling all right so when i see this air energy i'm just like Ugh. Might be someone that's going through some like anxiety or depression or perhaps here uh cancer i feel like this connection with you right now um is just really painful to you all right i feel like it gets you in your head a lot there's some connection here that is just like you're always questioning all right you're questioning i feel like it's very much so some of you guys because i'm hearing like hot and cold right um you might be getting like that sense of whiplash with them where it's just like some days uh cancer they're just like showing this sense of being like that they want to work with you they want to communicate with you you know like you feel the sense of securement and i feel like it's more than just one relationship in your life cancer i feel like it's with people in general where it's like very polarizing where it's like when you first connect with them you get one thing and then it's like a switch that happens and you don't even know what caused it where it's just like people just start acting completely different they start acting crazy they do a 180 on you scorpio uh, why am i calling you scorpio cancer i apologize darling i just did scorpio's reading that's why um but yeah cancer i feel like for you you're getting so much whiplash when it comes to relationships in your life right now and I feel like you're wanting clarity on that. Let's understand like why this is happening for you, Cancer. Like, is this something like, is it something in the air right now, darling? Like, is it something you're doing, right? It, it, I'm hearing like, am I the drama, Cancer? Yeah, you're wanting to understand like why people are acting this way. Cause it's like, it, it feels like it's a pattern with a lot of people from no matter, like there's no seemingly like no rhyme or reason to it. Four of cups coming in here with the two of pentacles as well as the knight of pentacles coming in here 
all right and then you got that summon of swords in the back of the deck cancer all right Ugh. okay darling how are we gonna break this down for you how are we gonna break this down for you cancer uh, so <laughs> <laughs> all right cancer full disclosure my rising is cancer so i resonate with cancer's readings all right but um which by the way you should be watching more than just your uh one's uh sun sign or your zodiac sign cancer watch your someone rising as well your venus anyways darling um how do i want to explain this to you i feel like you're going to be attracting uh, just you're going to get a lot of duds until you get it right cancer all right you have this knight of pentacles energy coming in here for you with this four of cups all right and so this is like a complementary energy where it's just like it's slow going like the connections that you're meant to be around they're slow coming but they are coming towards you cancer but i feel like it's actually necessary because i feel like some of y'all might instinctually just be like you know what let's just bury it this is too much drama this is too much stress i don't want to deal with connections right now like for many of you cancers you probably just want to hit the pause button and just be like you know what darling i just don't want to talk to people you know you know when the, my people come they come but <laughs> i'm a child i'm thinking i'm thinking dirty thoughts all right anyways when they come they come honey i know that's right um <laughs> i'm a child i'm sorry y'all so cancer the reason why i feel like it's important for you to not shut down at this time is because if i see if you don't continue taking risks because that's what it is like love is a risky game darling right um even with friendships you know it's risky but i feel like if you don't take the risk right now you'll miss the connection all right because of that four cups energy it lets me know where it's just like it might pass you by if you don't continuously take the risk right now so this lets me know that this knight of pentacles slow going darling cancer all right but it is coming sooner than you know here so it's this is one of those times where it's just like yes cancer i ain't gonna sugarcoat it you're gonna hit some duds all right that's just the natural process but it's worth it to constantly deal with the duds cancer when you know that they're duds it's a little bit easier to not get in your head about it right when you acknowledge that you're going to be dealing with duds here because you know you're you know you're going to be hitting uh you're going to be hitting gold here cancer you know you're going to be hitting gold you're going to be hitting that jackpot sooner than you know so it's worth it to take the risks darling just take it from me believe me just trust me darling this is what i do for a living all right cancer trust me trust me all right cancer so let's now get into what y'all need to hear at this time all right let's take a look y'all have this eight of wands through your swords with this hermit energy coming in for you all right also i want to take a note i know we're just about to get into this what you need to hear at this time but i forgot to address this with this i forgot to explain that like i had it in my head but i didn't ex voc uh, vocally talk about it. page of pentacles take note i said someone's extending out a pentacle to you communication all right so notice that theme is what i was saying with that first row for the person on your mind all right i'll move on but um eight of wands three of swords with some red energy for you cancer all right what you needed to know at this time here is where i mean this is literally calling you out in the sense of where it's just like yeah Yes, you're going to have those moments of being a hermit because of the pain, because of disappointments, Cancer, all right? There's no sugarcoating it, all right? Give yourself the grace in that experience, but also, that doesn't mean that you need to stay in your shell, darling, all right? I, I, I suppose I'm just connecting to a Cancer right now who is becoming a little bit cynical about people, understandably so, all right? I'm not going to sit here and not acknowledge the sense of, like, the disappointments that you've had time and time and time and time and time again. For many of you Cancers, you're probably, like, sitting there about to be typing and be like velka i've given i'm i'm convinced that i'm a person that doesn't have a soulmate that doesn't have a twin flame that is that is meant to just be perpetually alone darling all right some of you guys are thinking that but that's not the case progression is happening here eight of wands all right progression is happening eight of wands is that card of progression there right so keep keep your head up as much as you can darling all right easier said than done cancer all right but just know at the like I guess on some level, and maybe this is just the optimist in me, Cancer, based off of what I've had to go through, but I feel like it's a, it's a lot more comforting and easier to go through the trials and tribulations, to go through that dark tunnel, when you at least get the confirmation in knowing that there's a there's an end to that dark tunnel, all right? That there's a pot of gold at the end of that dark tunnel. You just have to make it through uh, that journey, all right? So you have the king of swords here keep your head strong all right 
I feel like you need to stop doubting yourself. Like the main problem that you're facing with your current situations, uh, Cancer, make it a learning opportunity. Start leaning into your into your intelligence more. All right. Don't allow people to gaslight you or have you in your head of questioning yourself. You know, I feel like that's something that you need to really, you know, when you see BS, call them out on the BS and then stand by it. You know, Ace of Pentacles, understand that you will get to your, your tribe understand that you will get to your destination uh cancer you're just inevitably dealing with a little bit of turbulation turbulence what <laughs> turbulation honey turbulence you're dealing with some inevitable turbulence on your airplane ride all right on your flight but that just because you're dealing with that turbulence doesn't mean it's going to take you any less time or any more time rather to get to your destination all right you get the sun card, all right? This is the best card in the tarot deck. Clarity is going to be happening for you, all right? The storm is going to be soon coming to an end, Cancer. Take a deep breath, darling, you know? Uh, relax those shoulders, lower those shoulders, darling. Unclench that jaw, you know? Relax, Cancer. You're just, the good part's just about to happen. That's what I feel for you. Even let's take a note, darling, with that page of pentacles, darling, back of the deck once again this knave of disc which is the page of pentacles darling all right i know you can't really tell based off of this necronomicon artwork but yeah that page of pentacles again communications these things becoming more streamlined revenues picking up there like things are going to be looking really good for you in the coming days cancer all right let's take a look here for your oracle cards all right, you have number 42 equaling to six in numerology. So look that number up at a later point in time. See what messages that brings you, Cancer. Netcaster. Preparations come to fruition. All right, that's what I was saying, right? You're about to be having your harvest. You've been putting in the work, uh, putting in the work for months on end to have a bountiful harvest, and it's coming, Cancer. All right, it's just very straight to the point, darling. Your your things are about to be coming into fruition, so don't give up now. You're about to strike gold. You're about to strike those diamonds, darling, Cancer. All right. You also have here Call of the Muse here. All right. I feel like you need, guys need to accept Cancer that y'all, your life is, you're going to feel like you're in a way uh cancer you're gonna feel like your life you could write a book on it and honestly so i feel like i should suggest y'all to write a book on your life all right that's what you need to start viewing your life as it's kind of like a sitcom and at the end of it you get to enjoy the fact that you have to that you get to write at a really exciting story all right don't take things so personal about what's happening because it's just adding extra chapters to your biography all right, focus on the positive. I mean, darling, wasn't I just, <laughs> some of y'all probably were eye rolling me, Cancer. And you're just like, okay, Velka, come on, I'm calm down now with that little like overly optimistic, but that's just how I am, Cancer, all right? I didn't, uh, I had to save my own life from escaping a cult, darling, right? I was my most depressed. I had to find ways to be positive here, all right? So I just, you know, I had to be an optimist because I was the only way I could save my life, you know? And so that's why I, I really do see such positivity for you. I'm not just saying it just because cancer you know just as a side note all right you know that's why i explain what these cards mean so you can understand that i'm not just saying a bunch of like you know fluff just to say it let's get into your predictions now all right six of wands which is my favorite card in the tarot deck cancer six of wands that's a card of victory it's a card of fame and fortune it's a card of success all right and then that knight of cups all right naturally someone offering their cup to you emotions right page of pentacles what was i saying and judgment energy that's a spiritual card that's i always say when i see this judgment energy cancer that's spirit taking physical action to bring forth to make things happen in the physical realm all right so from a social dynamic because this goes for both social and career here social dynamic for you cancer you're definitely going to be finding someone you're going to be finding your persons all right i don't care if it's i don't put a romance i don't attach romance to anything it's just like i care about just the connection itself all right so it's up to y'all to expound on the connection itself all right but i see you i see you finding alignment with people all right that help elevate you that help assist you i see you getting opportunities brought forward to you all right from people in your field cancer i see you catching a major break 
I see people assisting you. And so that's part of the reason why, Cancer, you don't want to be cynical at this time when it comes to connections. As much as you've been dealing with disappointments, darling, I understand. But it's directly through people that break down so many barriers for you. So while you feel like you've been hitting your, against, hitting your head against so many walls when it comes to social connections, darling Cancer, just know one of those times when you hit your head against that brick wall, it's going to break that wall and it's going to break every other wall behind it. But you have to just trust the process just a little bit longer, darling Cancer, all right? I promise you, though, I promise you, things will get better, all right? Just got to remain positive, honey. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, Cancer, okay? So I love you so much, darling. Hopefully this tarot reading gave you some resonance. If you want to book a private reading with me, Cancer, simply welcome dot com link to down below next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of them just being simply velcro's are link all right so hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future remember if you enjoyed this give this video a like and subscribe it really does help me out and uh i'll connect with you sometime in the near future darling cancer bye